Hi guys, welcome to my quick preview on how to do a proper push-up. Proper push-ups start with the foundation of our plank. Now, plank is just a position of the body that we take ourselves into, supporting ourselves on our hands and either our knees or toes. Those are our two points for our base of support. So with our hands, the traditional plank, we start with our hands right underneath the shoulders. In line, stacking joints always build our position basically like a building. We want to make sure that we've got our base of support and then directly on top of it, we're building up. Taking the hands as the base, the shoulders are stacked directly on top. Now from there, going on to the knees or toes. So shoulders are down, necks are long, we're not breaking the spine. The spine goes from the tailbone up into the base of the skull. We want to keep everything long. Now from here, squeezing through the stomach, making sure that the arms are strong. Now from modified plank, playing with the idea of coming up onto the toes and noticing the transition from the knees to the toes is seamless. There's no change in the body, it's the same position. One simply shortening the lever, but having the knees placed on the ground. Now that we've mastered our plank position, practicing our different push-ups, starting with the most basic of push-ups in terms of skill and frequency of use. Let's take ourselves into our wide push-up. Hands are placed right outside of the shoulders. So when we come into the position, essentially we're going to have the hands here. Now we want the elbows to come out as wide as possible for this particular exercise so we can work the biceps and through the pecs. The two are sharing responsibility. From our modified push-up position, we're going to spread our fingers wide. What this does is it increases our surface area, increases base of support, a little bit better for a stronger foundation. Shoulders are down, practicing. We take the elbows out, lift up. Now, if we're noticing that when we come down into push-ups, we come down, oh, we break the back, we roll ourselves up, we've just surpassed our range of motion that we can actively control. We always want to work within our abilities of controlling a position. So maybe today, this is the position that we stop in before we push ourselves up. That's absolutely, absolutely okay. Keep working on that. So we come down, lift up from the toes, down, Lift up. Excellent. Noticing that the position of the thumbs, we're creating L's. Just nice symmetrical L's mirroring each other. Next position that we'll try, we're going to take a narrow push-up. Narrow push-up, hands directly in front of the shoulders, set on the inside of the shoulders rather than wide. So we're still building our building from foundation up, stacking joints. This you'll notice the elbows have come into the body. We're targeting through the tricep this time. Smaller muscle group, so it's going to have a little bit more of a challenge to lift our body's weight. Starting from the knees, working ourselves up, increasing range of motion as we improve. All right, so flat back, long neck, stomach's in. We lower the body and we push straight up. Perhaps trying from those toes, lower the body, Push straight up, keeping the back flat in that nice, beautiful plank. All right, next up, let's try our staggered narrow push-up. Narrow set, one hand above the shoulder, one hand below the shoulder. So it's the same position with narrow, one hand above, one hand below. From our modified plank position, we take that hand front and back, keep the elbows brushing into the sides, lower down, Pushing up from the toes, lower down, pushing up. We can switch hands, practicing equally, lower down, pushing up. Wonderful. The next push-up that we're going to practice today, this is our triangular push-up. We form a triangle with the hands. See the beautiful space? From here, we want it to line up right with the heart. Or in other words, right in front of our sternum, in between the two collars. Now, when we start this push-up, the tendency is to have those elbows go out wide. That's fine at the beginning when we're just getting used to the push-up technique, keeping the back long and all of this locked. However, as we continue getting a little bit better, 
we start bringing those elbows in so the end position looks like such. That way, triceps are getting all of the work. Starting from that modified plank position, form our triangle, and we brush down, and we lift up. We can eventually try it on the toes, brush down, lift up. Nice straight body. Playing with the different positions of push-ups, slowly increasing how many we can do at one time, so we're increasing our reps, and then eventually adding them into sets. Taking a section of 10 and adding them in, maybe to our core work or to our upper body exercises. Great job, guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson on push-ups.